Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh oh Lord, Lord, make haste to, to help us. us. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your faithful love. According, according to, to your, your judgment, judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. At this point, we pause and lift our eyes to you. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And we we'll now have a short time of silence. As we rejoice in the gift of this time, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And the scripture reading for today is taken from Matthew chapter 4, verses 12 to 25. And John is going to read that. The three sections involved are entitled... Jesus begins to preach, the calling of the first disciples, and Jesus heals the sick. When Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he returned to Galilee. Leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum, which was by the lake in the area of Zebulun and Naphtali, to fulfil what was said through the prophet Isaiah, land of Zublun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea along the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. And from that time on, Jesus began to preach, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, preparing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father, and followed him. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness among the people. News about him spread all over Syria, and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain, the demon possessed, those having seizures and the paralyzed, and he healed them. Large crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and the region across the Jordan followed him. 
and we'll now have a short time of silence just to reflect on that passage and you may like to have um, uh, that passage in front of you so that you can just read it over and uh, uh, this beginning of Jesus's ministry as he uh, chooses his first disciples and then goes throughout the countryside healing and just speaking the gospel and drawing massive crowds from all over to follow him. We'll continue with the liturgy on the card. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O, o my God, God in you, you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To, to you, you, O Lord, Lord I lift, lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O, o my God, God in, in you I trust. I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To, to you, O Lord, Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, God in, in you I trust. trust. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. And John will now bring us our intercessions. We pray for the world. Inspire the rulers of the nations with neighbourly love and a desire to seek peace and to avoid war and conflict. Equally, we pray for our church leaders at all levels in the church, from Archbishop Welby to our curates, Lydia and John. In this time of fragmentation and acute pressure on the church, inspire our leaders to, ha to have strength and wisdom and imagination to rebuild and strengthen Christ Church's congregation in this parish and to foster our role as a beacon in Chiswick. We pray for individuals who are part of our church family. Lara, Lilia, Pamela, Claudette, Daphne, Mark, Jonathan, Lydia, Isabel, Ian, Stephen, Pam, Florence, Hamed, Sarah, and Chia Hui. Guard them and guide them. 
Give us all strength to vanquish the coronavirus. Protect all those affected by its malign influence. And in particular, protect and help all those who are involved in treatment and care. Please grant our prayers. Amen. Amen. And we'll now say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be be your name. name. Your kingdom Kingdom come, come, your your will be done on earth as it is is in heaven. heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. Have a good day.